Hi and welcome everyone, Lisa from the Relativity of Paper. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I created Sending Get Well Wishes card. I'm using Crafting Desert Diva's Wishful Thoughts stamp set and I'm also using the Flowers and Bloom stamp and SVG outlines from Crafting Desert Divas. We'll also be using Crafting Desert Diva's fancy frame dies. To get us started, I used my silhouette and the SVG outline for the stem for the orchids in the Flowers and Bloom stamp set to create the panel for my shaker card. So once I have my flowers cut out, I'm going ahead and stamping them up using my Mini Misty and Memento Tuxedo Black ink. You'll see a couple of roses here that I included and they'll be on a future project in another video. So once I have all of the, the flowers stamped up, I want to go ahead and decide where I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So I lay the white panel down and I grab the largest fancy frame die, position it so I can determine exactly where I want my sentiment. Once I have my sentiment placed, I'm going to remove the fancy frame die, pick up my stamps and stamp my sentiment using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And you'll see here that I like to stamp several different times, making sure that I get a nice, smooth, sharp, um, crisp stamped sentiment. Once you have that done, we're going to move into coloring our orchids with our Copics, and we'll be using C9, V09, V06, and V04. And we'll also be using Y15 and Y11. So once you get your orchids colored, you want to go ahead and start creating your shaker card. And to do that, you want to go ahead and die cut using that largest fancy frame die, lay down your acetate and your 3D mounting foam like you see me working with here, and then lay your sequins in and close the back of it up with a piece of cardstock of your choice. I just went ahead and covered mine with a scrap piece of purple cardstock. So the purple comes through and really makes the green and yellow sequins pop. So once we have all of this done, we're ready to go ahead and put some more 3D foam down on the back of our orchids so that they'll pop up off the front of the card too. So once you lay your 3D foam on the back and you determine where you want them, just go ahead and adhere them to the front of the card. Next step is just to determine what kind of cardstock you would like to use to mat that shaker panel. I'm going with this black and white bowl print. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I think it really helps to pop those purple orchids up off the front of that card. So just run some adhesive along the edges of that mat and center it up on the front of your card base and do the same with your shaker panel and you're ready to go. Now feel free to do whatever else you want to. Um, I leave the inside of mine blank so that I can write notes on the inside of them. I'm adding some shimmer sequins and they are by Crafting Desert Divas and I'm adding one up by the very smallest orchid and another on an orchid and three by the sentiment. If you have any questions about assembling a shaker card, I will link one a video for you below that I've done. There's a step-by-step -step video, and I hope that it'll help you in case you have any questions. So I really appreciate you guys joining me. I hope you find these videos helpful, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.